So I just want to preface, this strip has not gone right at all. And now we have a mess of Uno cards. I made it! <laughs> it could totally fail. <laughs> we try to go camping in the snow. Winter camping, snow camping in Arizona is probably the hardest thing that you'll ever do. Yeah. And We try to go camping in the snow. Winter camping, snow camping in Arizona is probably the hardest thing that you'll ever do. Yeah. And so we found a spot that's not too far from where we were. We've got, we've got some snow covered mountains in the back. Yeah. And we've got the I-17 right next to us. Can't, you can hear it, but you can't really hear it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, but we mainly wanted to check out this rock formation behind us. We've always seen it from the highway, so we're gonna go check it out. So these are some rocks that we've always seen from the highway. We didn't realize we could camp here, but it definitely looks cool. Kind of look cool. like, yeah, kind of looks like Watson Lake where we were. Rocks. Snow. Rocks. There we go. Rocks. And poop. Yeah. And a stabby in my leg. Oh no. It's really cool up here. So as you can see, we have some neighbors, which is fine. This is BML land. This is what you should expect. But we got some really big boulders. And then the van, way, way over there now. I made it! <laughs> Chancy, you wanna go up the rock? Go ahead, go get mommy. Come here. <gasps> Chancy, come. Woo! Oh, almost. <laughs> almost. Come here. She's our little mountain goat.
So I just want to preface, this strip has not gone right at all. And now we have a mess of Uno cards. Yep. So this is definitely what you called failed. Again, we're really good at failing. So it's, it's still fun. Tell us, tell us what else. <laughs> Tell us what else has happened with the <laughs> cooking fiasco we're about to endure. Yeah, we um, didn't put back the cutting board or the like cooking utensils, um, other than the metal ones, last time we washed them at the house. So, yeah, yeah. So, so I have to get goulash out with this somehow. Thank God we at least brought the Instapot. Yeah. We've got elbow noodles, we got some tomatoes, we've got ground chicken, in the fridge yeah. and don't know how we're going to get it out of the Instapot yet because we have no spoon. So let's cook some goulash. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Extendo arms. <laughs> doo -doo -doo. Keep the van clean. Woo. No dirty feet in the van. <laughs> don't come at me at the comments because I normally don't cut onions like this but it's really hard to cut it on a plate that has a lip. <laughs> So yes, I know it's a possibility of chopping off my fingers. Please be careful. Well, you know, if somebody would have remembered to put a cutting board in, I wouldn't have a problem. You know, there's two of us here too. It's fine. <laughs> It'd be scarier you doing this, honestly. I mean, probably, yeah. Uh-huh. So let's cook up some onions, because we love onions in this house. Yes, we do. So, never made goulash before. Just sounded good. Yeah. All right, baby Instapot. Don't know if it's gonna fit all of it. I think, I don't remember what quart this is, six quart? I think it's less than that. I don't know what that is, but this is gonna be fun. So, instead of spray, we're gonna use some butter. Okay. No, we're not, because we didn't bring the butter either. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> the recipe didn't oh. call for butter, but and we have oil inside. <laughs> I give up at this point. We just, we improvising and we doing our best. So I'm just going to spray that because I don't want to go back in. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't be going back in anyway. I know. Let's see. It's saute. Mm -hmm. So click on the saute. <coughs> inhale your um, uh, spray. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Cup of bell pepper too while you wait. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Going to cut this up and then we will saute all of this up with some garlic. So this is going to be interesting to see if all this fits with this and then tomato stuff. Yep. Woo! Not a So now we've got the ground turkey, or I'm sorry, ground chicken in there with the peppers, onions, garlic, and so we've got a little bit of some liquid. So I'm just going to toss the paper towel in here and get that all soaked up. It's the easiest way when you don't have a strainer, honestly. Get some of that liquid out, just put that in there, drain it out. You should probably really do that with tongs just to be safe, but yeah. Just going to let that cook down some more probably take another paper towel but we're just gonna let that cook off and then we're gonna start getting our tomatoes ready and our tomato sauce ready so now we're at the parts where I'm gonna pour in one cup of broth and then I have to measure out another three-fourths cup so do 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 Oop, you were almost perfect. I there's like you, a little, there's just a tiny, but when you're in a baby pot, <laughs> I don't recommend it. Yep. So just gonna stir it around. We've already added our AP. We added Italian seasoning to this. So now you're supposed to pour in the pasta. <laughs> Such a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea number 20,562 camping. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> No big deal here. As long as it gets in there. It's as fine. long as it gets cooked. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't mix it. Don't mix it. Got it. Okay. And then put the tomato stuff in. Put the tomato stuff in. All right. 
So here's one tomato stuff. Oh, this is, it might just be like one of those. That's fine. Shouldn't have opened the other one. Oh well, yeah. Pour in tomato sauce. So you're telling me not to stir that either now? Yep, nope. Oh, okay, well I'm gonna so shimmy. Cover, cover as much of the pasta as you can. It's okay if it's not all covered. Okay, so. That's what it said. We're just doing one can of tomatoes because I don't know. Do you think another one would fit in there? I think we're at where's, the max where's line. Where's the line? It's over there I don't know, somewhere. it's somewhere over here. I think we're at the line. I think we're maybe a little bit above the line. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it we're then. We're just gonna leave it then. Okay, sounds good. So now, <laughs> so now we're gonna turn it off saute. We're gonna throw this back on. Maybe. This one does not. There we go. All right, and now we're going to turn it, and now it's on seal, and then pressure cook for how long? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll check back in. So for some reason, I don't believe it, but <laughs> I don't we've checked. It. it says four minutes on high, so we'll hit pressure cook, not an hour, <laughs> and it's four minutes. Yeah. I don't believe it. I'm a little scared to see what happens because it's pretty full. Four minutes and then you just set it and forget it for four minutes <laughs> it seems ridiculous i think it takes about 15 to pressurize but we're gonna find out <laughs> it could totally fail <laughs> Woo, get it babe i'm trying this is hard yep it's really hard. Whoop. And I like doing this. Yeah, you do. It's probably hard to see, but apparently we have two minutes left. We'll see how this goes. Especially it's ready. Alright. I don't know if I believe it. I know. Four minutes has gone by. Now we're going to vent it because it doesn't say anything about releasing for 10 minutes or anything. So we're just going to vent it, see what happens. There might be a lot of liquid, so that's kind of why we pulled it back outside. Yeah. So you ready? Okay. <laughs> right in the van. <laughs> of course. That's also why we're not doing that inside. Yeah. Take bets below in the comments. You think it's cooked? Because I don't. I don't either. <laughs> Big reveal. Let's pop this off and see. Whoa, that's like full to the brim. All right, let's see if the pasta's cooked. Because obviously <laughs> everything else will be. Mm -hmm. Let me use my baby spoons to mix. Ooh, that's thick. Um. It looks <laughs> cooked. <laughs> it looks really cooked, actually. Yeah. I am very surprised. Me too. Okay. Tell me down in the comments below if you guys have ever had macaroni and tomatoes. That's kind of what this reminds me of. I just think it's pasta with bell peppers. <laughs> yeah. So. So this is something that we wanted a nice warm hot meal because we knew we'd be camping in cooler weather it is kind of cold here in arizona we just got a winter storm front come through so we wanted something warm by the fire and i think we got that mm -hmm. we're gonna serve this up with our baby spins put some cheese on it and meet you guys at the campfire fire's a little bit smoky but yeah it is this wood is interesting pretty, really smoky all right goulash time cheers mm -hmm. you already missed it what no, i was just eating off the top of my spoon cheers mm. so good it turned out really good i'm surprised i am too i really thought the pasta was gonna be i raw. thought the pasta was gonna be raw 
honestly, Instapots are probably makes the most best meals camping, especially because as you guys saw, we went up to Prescott, had snow up there, we went down a road, we weren't gonna be able to get out most likely because it was so wet and deep. Yeah. Went to Watson Lake, they were close too. Mm -hmm. Got some really great shots of that though. So pretty. So pretty up there. Mm -hmm. So we just shot back down next to the 17, found off of Bloody Basin, yep. and it's great. Like the road noise won't bother us, but I think it's fascinating, and it might just be me, but I love watching this. I do too. I love that we can see it like both directions. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like way, way back too. Yeah, you can see where it wraps yeah. around, but like this trip did not go as planned that in any all. sense. But we're still having a really good time. Yeah, we've made the best of it. We forgot a lot of stuff. Our camp spot didn't work. We're trying to camp in the snow, but it's really hard here in Arizona. It is. It's very hard because a lot of the forest roads up in Flagstaff are closed too. So actually camping in snow is really hard here. So this is right here, winter camping in Arizona. Yeah. And it's great. <laughs> What is it, 37 degrees or something? Yeah. Yeah. It's getting there tonight. Yeah, it's going to be chilly tonight. We're going to have the heater on. Mm -hmm. All the good stuff. Yeah. Eat this up. Enjoy the fire. Might make some hot cocoa. Oop. That fell off, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. It did. I'm watching it. That sounds okay. good. So we will check in with you guys later. Kick me in the face. <laughs> I know. Try not to. Alright, here's the food. Thank you. Here's the trash. Yeah. Flashlight. Fire poker. Oh, oh that's the s'mores maker. <laughs> Fire poker. We are in for the night. The heater's working awesome. Yes. It is a brisk 60, 64, <laughs> 67 in here. Oh, it's, it's so warm. It's, it's nice. so nice. Mm -hmm. So great trip. Yeah. Didn't go as planned in any sense once again. That's okay. Yep. Makes for good adventures. Yeah, so great. So we are going to call it a night and we will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Mm. You guys are never gonna guess what we're about to show you <laughs> happened last night. I'm so excited. It's snow. We got snow. Yep. <laughs> we got snow and it's cold. So we're gonna pack up the fire pit. So the only thing that we try to leave out at night, if we, especially we knew something might happen last night, we was just it was gonna be rain. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely rain at first and then it turned into snow but we only left the fire pit out. So we're gonna pack that up and we are gonna head out. You know how hard this would have been in the solo stove? <laughs> oh God, I know. It just would have came home with us. Yep. We are going to head out because it is cold now. And windy. Yep, and we will see you guys on the next one.